Today we're out at track, Sefner, Florida. We're going to test fly the new Delta Ray. This is a trainer type airplane, just obtained from Hobbytown, Tampa. Front of the box, you can see it's a very large box because it's a flying wing. And the winds are about five, six miles an hour. So, but a beautiful day out here. Here we have the Delta Ray, counter rotating propellers, two servos, Delta configuration. I would recommend possibly putting Velcro underneath the fin instead of double siding taping. That way you can pull the fin off and put it back in the box. The underside of the aircraft, landing gear are attached at the moment. They can be left off for the hand launching. These are your hand launching holes. Battery hatch comes off, board, battery sits back in here. Comes with a DX4 spectrum radio. This is the panic button. These are your flight modes, beginner, intermediate, advanced. These limit the throws. It does have a dual rate switch, which you really won't need if you're flying in flight modes. Finally, battery flies on, two cell, 1300 milliamp, e-flight battery comes with the kit, comes with a DC charger, balance charger only, no adjustments, just a very simple charger. Everything ready to go in the box, including AA batteries. Here we have the Delta Ray sitting on a table. We're gonna do the startup sequence. DX5 on, give it a second. I'm going to flip this over. Plug it up, put your battery in here. All right, flip it over. Gonna turn this into modes there. Low rate, you can see, a little bit of difference. You don't need it. In training mode, you see we don't have anything waiting. You can see now it's now correcting. There you go. Alright, I'm gonna hold the transmitter out here so you can see it fly. Panic mode, different modes. We are going to take off with a slight crosswind and see what happens. Trainer, beginner's mode. We're not gonna hold this switch. We're just gonna accelerate down the runway. And it's airborne. As you can see it's fighting the wind. Now if you watch, no matter how hard I push the stick, pull over, it does not exceed that bank at all. I'm still holding full left. It will not roll over. If I push the panic button at any given time, back to level. This is hands off, full throttle, panic mode. And even though the wind is hitting us directly, well, at about 45 degree angle, just flying there. I'm gonna throttle back. That's full over again. You can see it just holds its own. If I let go of the stick, back to level. We have not given any throttle. Powering up into the wind. I've not even trimmed the aircraft. I'm going to step back. Now, bring it back in. I'm going to go to intermediate mode. I'm going to give it full throttle. See, it's not a speed demon, but we don't need it to be. This is the maximum, you saw it stop. So the maximum it will do is 90 degrees. Watch. Level flight, full stick, holds, and it holds 90 degrees. Full up elevator. Now, we're gonna give it full up. You'll notice it stopped and switched. This is the maximum up elevator it will give. cruising about half throttle waiting for the other plane to leave. I'm going to go back to full throttle. This is advanced mode. Every, so every, all the gyros are off. You can actually see it could use trimming. I can now roll. I can loop. Rolling again. Now 
we're going to do something the trainer would probably not want to do. We're going to go upside, right side up, upside down, let go of the sticks, panic mode, right back to level. Do it again, up, invert it, let go of the sticks, panic mode. Now, now we don't, we're not even going to let go of the sticks first. We're going to pull up, invert it. I'm going to try to fly invert it for a second. Now, I'm not even going to let go of the sticks, panic mode, back. You'll notice panic mode, stick does not matter what I do to it. It just continues to fly, it wobbles a little. See, I can't even make a turn. Let go of the panic mode. Straight and level. I'm gonna go back to intermediate. Now we have the gyroscope, well, here. There's our maximum turn. Let go of the sticks, back to level. Let go of the sticks, back to level. That's your beginner mode. This is where most people are gonna fly. Now as the instructions say, if we want to land, what we do, we're going to go to the end of the field. I'm going to give it, I'm going to do throttle so it'll descend a little. They said if you want to land, we're just going to kind of line up with the runway. We're going to give it zero throttle, and we're just going to hit the panic button. See, nothing works. Now I'm gonna, that's the wind taking it. Now I'm gonna fly around again. I'm still in beginner mode, just like a newbie. I'm gonna to reduce throttle and I'm gonna compensate for the wind a little bit this time. I'm gonna line up on that runway, a little bit off to the side, point it into the wind, push panic mode, throttle down. I'm not touching the radio. Now it's a little bouncy, but for anybody that'd be an acceptable landing. Take that off. You can see the engines do directional thrust. Go to intermediate mode, and we're going to take off. Rudder still works, and away we go. So if you have a little flying experience, the intermediate mode is pretty cool. kind of helps out, gives you like an AS3X feel, a little bit of correction, but not a lot. And once again, at any time you feel strange, just hit that button and you can see it locked it in to level there. All right? All right, panic mode back to level and a climb. All right, advanced mode, everything is off, about half throttle. Now I can really But once again, if we get into any trouble, just hit the button, back to straight and level flight. All right, we're going to land with everything off. Try to show you how slow it can fly. Bring its nose up. Everything is off, no panic buttons installed. 